Hey, what's up, guys? Nick's Bull here, and I guess I'm gonna do a locker tour today because I, I've never shown it out. So I don't know how much it's worth, but I know I've got quite a bit of skins considering I've been playing on this account since season three. But I did play on another one in season two. It was a PlayStation account that is now being used by my brother, but that doesn't really matter. I guess I'll start with um skins because that's all people actually care about. I'll, I'll go through my favorited ones first. Of course, the Frozen Legends pack, Frozen Love Ranger, Frozen Raven, and Frozen Red Knight. They're just super cool skins, especially the Frozen Red Knight, the shield with it, and then the the Frozen Iron Cage. It's so, so sick. And the Twitch Prime, the original Twitch Prime bundle, the Havoc. It was so cool. Still kind of is cool, but I don't think I'd use it or wouldn't use it very often. Then the football skin, Blitz. Which um, I think everyone thought would be as cool as the soccer skins. It's super cool. It's a sick skin. People thought it was going to be known as sweaty. It's not. It's such a sick skin though. Like so many options. That looks good. And then we got Marshmallow of course. Legendary event. One of the coolest events in the game. 100%. So I had to cop the skin. You know how it is. And we got the Rapscallion. You already know, Thieves' skin, uh, a super cool burglar, burglar, I guess, skin. I really like it. I don't use it enough, though. Then we got our sub-commander from the Twitch Prime bundle, the original one. Wearing his headset. And we got the Beach Bomber, which didn't come out too long ago. It's the summer exclusive of the Bright Bomber. Came out a little while ago, had to buy it. Of course, I don't even have the Bright Bomber, but I like this one even more than the Bright Bomber. Now we got what they're gonna find at Area 51. The, um, what? The Dream, which has a sick back bling too. It's, it's a really cool skin. Just everything that's done to it. Now, of course, the voice playmaker, one of the soccer skins. Oh, so sweaty. I don't use it like ever. I feel like I play worse when I use the skin. The Scully, which I got the first time it came out. It came back out the other day, but it's a cool skin, especially in the pink version. I like it way more in this version. It's pretty cool. The Sunbird, which I liked it. I think it's kind of cool. It's just, it's a minimal skin, I guess. With the back bling and the face mask, it's not minimal at all, but I figured I'd get it. And we got the waypoint, which I like a lot with and without the helmet. It's super cool. I use this skin all the time now. We got the birdie. Obviously, you already know what the birdie is. The golf skin. Pretty cool looking, all done up in pink. I love it. Now we got the bolt. My skin, which I use quite a bit too. Probably the skin I use most other than the Scorpion. This skin is my skin. I don't care what anyone else says. My skin. Now we got the Bullseye. Just a super cool looking skin. Overall, just made very well. Lots of colors. I like it. One of the only... Here's one of the only male skins I've ever bought it's like a military guy type thing I like it now we got the nog ops which I got not OG because I didn't have this account back then I got this the time it came out and I didn't have enough V-Bucks for it or enough money so I grinded save the world for hours to get it and I just I used it so much because it's such a sick skin now we got the Scorpion, the skin I used before the bolt came out almost every time I played. It's such a sick skin, it's minimal, it's super cool. Now we'll go on to Battle Pass exclusive skins, like the, the ones you get from completing challenges. We got the, the AIM, fitting name I guess. It looks a little chilly. It's probably one of the cooler ones, I don't really like it. Let me get the Black Heart, which is one of the tier one skins for the season eight battle pass. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Uh, I have it maxed out, as you can see. It's cool. 
I, I don't use skins like that though. Then we got the Calamity, which I don't know if I ever got maxed out. Okay, yeah, I did. It's a cool skin. It, it was actually a really good one. I, I think it came out in like season five or season six. I don't remember. It was sick though. Then we got the Carbide. Didn't get this maxed out because I bought the season four battle pass. At the end of the season, pretty much, there was like two weeks left. Because someone convinced me to buy it. So I did. And uh, I regret not getting this. Which also means I didn't get Omega. Because I didn't get to tier 100. Which is such a fat L, but it's life. We have the Dire. The skin that is so bad. Like, I can't stand it. Then we got Lachlan. The Drift. Which looks probably cooler with the mask. I don't remember the reason I last bought it. I uh, used it. And the Summer Drift came out. I, didn't, I don't really like the Summer Drift. To be honest. We got the Enforcer. Another one of those is Battle Pass exclusive skins. Cool. They're never good. So. And we got the Hybrid. His dad got smacked the other day by the Mecha. You already know how it is. We got the Lux. The first ever female T100 skin. Not a good skin. I don't like it at all. The Lynx, the Kitty, Meow. Ragnarok, of course. The um, Save the World bundle thing that came free, the Rose Team Leader. It's a pretty cool skin. I like it. Now we get the Rocks. Pretty cool. I think it was done well. Overall, I think it's a cool skin. We got the Rune. Very big and bulky. Would never use, but it's cool. We got the chicken man, which isn't on the chicken setting right now, but that doesn't matter. He's the chicken man. He'll always be the chicken man. Now we got the singularity, which is one of the coolest skins I think we've had in a long, in like in battle passes for a long time. Easily the coolest like exclusive skin you get. It's, it's so cool. Ice King. Everyone knows Ice King. There's no need to explain the Ice King. Like look at it. Uh, too big and bulky. Whatever this guy's name is, I don't remember. Lava guy. <laughs> the the prisoner or whatever they called him. Then we got the visitor. That man. I'm not sure I like him. Now we got the Valor, so the superhero that is an actor. And I remember using a lot. Now we got the Vendetta skin. The tier 100 skin for this season 9 battle pass. Don't like it. Never gonna use it. Now we got the other Save the World skin, the War Paint. Also, don't like the Zenith or Zenith, however you say it. It's cool. I don't think I'd use it though. Battle Hawk. It's cool. Wouldn't use it. It's just the male skins. Most of them aren't very good. Now we got Bunker Jonesy. He's pretty lit. I mess with him. He's he's cool. He ate a banana. Who is his friend? Uh. Gotta respect that. Uh, I'm not sure why I respect it, but. Now we got one of the. V-Bucks bundles. I think that's what it is. The V-Bucks bundle skin. It's kind of cool. I don't think I'd use it though. Now we got the Demi, which is a sick skin. I really like the Demi. Now the overtime challenge just came out. And there's a new color for it, which is sick. Now we got DJ Yonder, the biggest bot skin in the game. Can't even play with it. It's so bad. Now we got the Dusk, the skin who I don't think I've ever used. And I don't think I ever will. I don't like it. Then we got the Ember, which this variant was from the Overtime Challengers. Sick. I love this skin so much. It's one of the cooler Battle Pass skins. And I can match it with the Dream Wings, so it looks so good. Fable. It was so sweaty at one point. Giddy up. Yee yee yee. Man's hopping around. I don't know. Huntress. Cool skin. Master Key. If it had different color hair and no mask and different color clothing, it's the ninja skin. We got the nightshade. So the goofy tomato. The onesie, which is pretty cool. The banana, which is a big meme and way too big to use. The powder, which is pretty cool. The red line, also known as Renegade Raider, if you use the skin changer. 
uh, Rook, which it was a pretty cool skin at the time. A lot of people used it. It's just six skin. Sergeant Winter, sorry Santa, it's not your day. Uh, Sidewinder, they may have a cool variant for it, but I don't like it very much. Sledge Hammer, reminds me of Sledge Hammer games, just because that's what it is. So I guess it's kind of cool, but I don't like the skin very much. We have the Stratus, which is, uh, no, nah. sorry, bro. Summit Striker, another one of those V Bucks bundle things. You buy, it, you get the skin and the V Bucks. The Sun Strider, which is actually a sick skin. I really like the Sun Strider. I use that skin a lot, and I want to say season four or five when it came out. I don't remember which one. Technique, a lot of people like it. Looks like it's got pretty big eyes for the face, and uh, I respect that. Getaway Gang, the Ace, another one of the V Bucks bundle things. The Trog, he makes some noises. I don't know. The Vega, which is pretty cool, but. Not a skin I'd use. Another one of the V-Bucks packs. The Wild or Wildy or whatever it wants to call itself. Now we got Bubblegum Girl. Also known as... Whatever she's known as. Oh, Zoe to Bubblegum Girl. Yeah, I, it's, it's fine. Now we'll take a look at the back blings. I don't have very many of these. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I do. Um, backup plan. Twitch Prime Bundle. Such a sick, sick back bling. Goes with almost anything that has red. It's such, it's so cool. And then we got the frozen iron cage. Use that with a few things. Frozen love wings. Absolutely love them. Frozen red shield. Absolutely love it. Now we got the wolf pack, which was came with the the wolf, which I really, really don't like, but it's a sick back bling. Got the dust wings, which when they first came out, I used them a lot. They were pretty cool. The bright bomber back bling. Not the Bright Bomber, the Beach Bomber, the Bright Board, the Shattered Wing, the Dream Wings. Now I'm going through these. I'm only going to show the ones that I like the most because most people, um, they know about these. It's, it's pretty boring. And then we got the, the Signal Hub, the one that comes with the Waypoint. The Scully Satchel comes with the Scully. My boy Banana getting slurped up. Uh, yikes. The Sun Wings, kind of cool. Don't go with any skin. And then we got the ducky. Quack, quack. Quack pack. That's actually sick. Hopefully it's not full of quack. Um, I guess I'll take a look at my um, pickaxes now. Not a lot of those. I'll show the ones that I like, first of all. Crowbar, obviously. Marshy Smasher. It's cool. Plays music. Reaper, of course. Studded Axe, of course. Vision, of course. Angular Axe, of course. Cookie Cutter, of most people don't like it, but it's cool. The lead swinger, a lot of people don't like, but I like it. And the rose glow, which comes with the Save the World bundle. And then the simple sledge, which comes with the John Wick bundle. Then the pickaxe, because it's such a clean and minimal pickaxe that I love. Now we'll look at gliders. I don't like any of these. I only use these umbrellas. I haven't had this account for like Omega Long, so... The one I used the most was the beach umbrella. Now it's the one shot. You get the point. Contrails. I used two. The lightning because I'm Nick's Bolt. And the lightning strike because I'm Nick's Bolt. And uh, that's it. In the winter I used the string lights because it looks festive. And of course I use this as my icon. The blue bolt. Of course, obviously, no need to explain. Oh, we're taking a peek at this item shop, see if there's anything I'd grab out of here. Sh I'd get the Shadow Ops. I have enough for it, but Battle Pass coming up. Wait, what was that? Yeah, that, was cool. that looks cool. I don't think I looked at that last time. I'm still not buying it. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching the video, and uh, I'll see you later. Peace.